Hey everyone, Marin here. Thanks for stopping by. It's Thursday, so I am back with a new Sunny Studio card. And this week I'm featuring the gorgeous Cherry Blossoms stamp set on a pretty and elegant shaker card. So this is the Cherry Blossom stamp set with all the layering stems to create beautiful flowers. I also used the Eiffel Tower coordinating die from Paris Afternoon. The Thinking of You sentiment from Critters on the Go. The Quilted Heart Portrait die. The Second Stitched Arch. And the Banner die from the Stitched Rectangle die set. So I started by stamping the flowers from Cherry Blossoms. And as you can see, there is a number next to each stamp. These numbers help you know in which order to stamp the images. And to know how to layer the stamps, you can follow the guide on the Cherry Blossoms page at sunnystudiostamps.com. It's really helpful. So I'm going to start with the largest flower and to create a white highlights on the images, I'm skipping the first image, the solid one, and I'm starting with the second image. And every time I use layering stems, I like to prep the stems before inking them. I'm just applying some clear embossing ink on the stamp, and I clean it right away. This will help achieve a more precise and even result. For this first layer of ink, I'm using sponge sugar oxide ink. I'm stamping the image twice to get a nice opacity. And you can see the highlights I was talking about by skipping the first solid image. So I turn the paper in my Misty tool to stamp more images. And next I stamped more flowers using the other stems. And I'm still creating a first layer, so I'm keeping my sponge sugar oxiding for now. I'm done with the first sponge sugar layers, so now I'm going to add contrast with the next image using warm lipstick oxide ink. To position the stamp, I followed the guide I showed you at the beginning. And just like the other stamps, I first used clear embossing ink to prep the stamps, and this way get an even result at the stamping.
the worn lipstick layer is done so I'm going to stamp the center pieces the ones that look like bursting stars using festive berries oxide ink Some details to the flowers, I'm using the images with the tiny dots to totally complete the biggest flowers and I'm using edged mahogany oxide ink to add those final details. Almost done, I still need to add stems on the smallest flowers and this time I'm using inks from Lanfon to stem those additional details. And the flowers are done, I've made two more panels of screen and next I moved on to the background. I started by cutting a 5.5 by 4.25 inches panel out of a raspberry pink cardstock and on that plain panel I'm going to add details and texture using the quilted heart portrait die. To make the hearts pop on this quilted heart background, I'm attaching the panel on a white panel using liquid glue. And next I'm going to create the shaker. I quickly placed the arch die with some flowers at the bottom and the Eiffel Tower in the middle. I'm leaving some space below the flowers to add a banner. And next I'm sending the panel with the die taped in place to my die cutting machine. And here is the arch window. I applied liquid glue at the back of this panel so I can attach a piece of acetate. I quickly trimmed the edges and next I'm adding foam tape at the back of the panel all around the arch window. And to do this I'm using foam strips. These are easily bendable, just perfect to follow curves or non-traditional shapes.
Next, I'm adding powder inside the arch window all along the foam strips. This will make the foam edges non-sticky and this way will keep the sequins away from the strips. I'm cleaning the window with a microfiber cloth and next I can add the sequins. I'm adding flower sequins from Simon Says Stamp, a mix of clear and pink jewels from Studio Katia and some light pink sequins from my stash. Next, I peeled the backing papers of the foam strips and the powder has made the foam around the window less sticky so I'm just adding small dots of glue on those strips before attaching a light pink panel and totally close the shaker panel. So here we go, the shaker panel is all done. Next, I'm adding the Eiffel Tower directly on the window using foam squares and I'm also attaching flowers at the bottom of the arch. Off screen, I added more flowers at the top on each side of the arch window and for my sentiment, I white hit embossed the phrase thinking of you on the red banner that I'm tucking under the flowers at the bottom. Finally, I'm adding a few clear jewels here and there for an extra touch of shine and that's it, this is the final result. I hope that you like this sweet and elegant Cherry Blossoms in Paris shaker card. I will see you next week with a new Sunny Studio project. Thanks for watching. Bye!